So the Travis Scott Air Jordan 6s will be releasing next month in September of 2019. Let's get into it. Welcome back once again to the DC Show. This is T. McNeil. Yes, guys, the Travis Scott Edge on Sixes will be releasing in September of 2019. Now, guys, keep in mind during this entire video that about the fact that this is going to be a tentative release, which means that the price point and the release date could possibly change. All right, I just want to let you guys know that off the top of the dome. But uh, yeah, they got a release date for September 14th of 2019, guys, and the official colorway will be medium olive, black, sail, and university red. All right, so you guys can see the thumbnail for yourself, but as always, I will put up some additional images, and we got some information that I want to go over as well. But I want to make another point really quick, guys. Um, the fact of the matter is, Travis Scott's Air Jordan 6s, you know it's going to be a hot release. Okay, so what I mean by that is it's going to probably sell out within minutes after it goes on sale come September. All right, so my best advice to you is to make sure, guys, you get on the Nike Sneakers app ASAP and try to secure yourself a pair because I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. You guys know what happened with the last Travis Scott, the Air Jordan 1s, that came out a few months ago. And you guys know also what happened with the Nike Sneakers app. Now, I, I still promote the Nike Sneakers app on this channel. You know, I, I know things do happen, but hopefully, as I stated a few months ago, this won't happen again with this particular Air Jordan 6 here, all right? But uh, normally that doesn't happen, but just keep in mind that if you do decide to use the Nike Sneakers app, it is a possibility that that site could possibly crash, okay? Remember, remember you have thousands and thousands of transactions that are being held at one time on this particular website and like I said hopefully the servers will be strong enough to uh, keep up with demand alright but like I said make sure that you get on there as soon as possible because I'm going to tell you something guys places like StockX I love StockX and the only time I really fool with StockX is like when I'm looking for a particular shoe that may have been released like let's say last year or two years ago three years ago something like that typically like a shoe that you can't find in the stores alright so I'll go on StockX to try to find certain shoes but I'm gonna tell you with these Travis Scott Air Jordan 6's you guys already know on StockX they're gonna raise those prices through the roof okay we got shoes on there now guys that's going for like $875 and up I'm gonna tell you right now guys that I may become unpopular when I say this but you do not understand the value of money if you spend that kind of money on a pair of shoes. I'm going to tell you that right now. For, to me, that is the dumbest crap in the world that you can ever do. Alright? Don't ever spend that kind of money on a pair of shoes. I don't care what type of shoe it is. Alright? I just want to put that out there. So, you already know with a shoe like this, especially a Travis Scott Edition shoe, it's going to go for a lot of money. Okay? So, typically shoes like this go from, from about $175 to about $200 all right so if you want to get that shoe for that particular price make sure that you get on that Nike sneakers app ASAP all right just want to let you guys know that but in the meantime uh, without further ado let's jump to the information now it does say that the one known as La Flame would likely be crowned the sneaker collaborator of the year much in part due to the widespread success of his various dabbles with the Jordan brand with both trails of the Air Jordan 1 reaching meteoric heights in terms of hype and even his take on the Air Jordan 33 garnering some heavy attention, Travis Scott has firmly cemented, or cemented himself as the most robust needle mover in the world of footwear. I can't disagree with that. This September, his next creation will be released to the public and Air Jordan 6 retro enhanced with exterior stow cargo pockets glow-in-the-dark soles and durable canvas applications. Now furthermore, as of the end of August, a release on September 14th has been believed to be the target date, but seeing how Travis has an infinity of dropping his kicks at both random occasions and time with other side projects such as the day's premiere of his Netflix special, it wouldn't be a surprise of the shoes or if the shoes made its way to consumers earlier. 
Now, see a detailed look at the upcoming Enjoy of 6 Travis Scott here. Stay tuned for more of the year's most anticipated Jordan releases. All right. So, like I said, guys, make sure that you stay tuned and keep it locked right here to the DC show. Again, they have the date for September the 14th. Like I said, that's why I said earlier in the video, guys, it is a tentative date, which means that it can change. So, keep it locked. If it does change, I'll give you guys an updated video, and we'll go from there. All right. So let's go over the images really quick, man, because I, I really like these Ed Jordan 6s. And, um, you know, it's one feature that they talked about in the article that I definitely want to discuss. All right. So, um, here's an image, guys, aside from the thumbnail. Uh, mostly suede, okay, guys. You know, it, it looks good. Or, or new buck, you know, can't complain with that. Uh, like all the individual stitching, you got the air hole vents on the side panels. You know, you got that two-tone effect going on on the midsole of the shoe. And, of course, as a part of the midsole slash outsole, I do like the fact that it is like glow in the dark, so to speak, kind of giving you like a, a dark green hue. So, that looks pretty cool. Um, then, on the upper of the shoe, guys, where the ankle is, you know, they're talking about those side cargo pockets. Okay, now that's a really unique uh, design, and I've never actually seen that on the Air Jordan before. So, obviously, it looks great. Now, it's kind of like a, a olive green. I mean, I understand, guys, that, uh, you know, that's what the name of the colorway is. But at the same time, we're talking about olive green. You know, it also looks like a military green as well. All right, almost like the same shade as my hat that I'm wearing in this video. So, this is definitely going to be a cop for me. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Edge Jordan 6 anyway. All right. Now. Uh, the next image right here, guys. Now, you can definitely see the Nike Air symbol on the left shoe on the back coming in that orange, guys. I like the Cactus Jack symbol coming on the right shoe. Again, uh, that olive green, military green. Again, same shade as a hat just about. That all looks good. You can, again, see that military cargo pocket on the side. Uh, is it a use for it? Who knows? I mean, unless you want to be a gangster or something, you got a little pocket knife sitting up in there or something, you know, you might want to shake a fool or something, I don't know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, if that's what you want to do, that's your prerogative, like I said, I ain't gonna throw no shade at you, man, but yeah, like I said, I, I like the air hole vents again, you can see even more of it right there, and uh, like I said, all the individual stitching, but that suede, you know, it, it really looks good, or new buck, I'm not sure which one it is, but it's definitely buttery smooth, and um, you know, it looks great, I like the big ankle loops on the back, and uh, that looks good as well. But like I said, I really want to get my hands on it because I want to see or you know, test out this whole glow in the dark theory. So if I do secure a pair of these shoes, guys, I will let you know. And uh, we'll do a reveal on it. We'll do an unboxing on the foot review. And um, what I may even do, I may even shut off the lights. And uh, let's see how this glow in the dark feature really works. Right? And then we go over the very last image, guys. Uh, the outsole of the shoe looks great. I like the big orange bold Air Jordan Jumpman symbol right there. That looks good. And then you've got more of that glow in the dark uh, feature on the bottom of these shoes as well. On the, or on the outsole, you know, coming in black and green. All right. So that's all the images, guys. That's all of the information. If you guys have any comments, any questions, make sure that you leave them down below in the comments section. And a brother got you. Um, I like it a lot, man. I like the tongue on the shoe as well. You know, it's, it's a little bit different. It's got kind of like a netted nylon kind of material going on the front of it. Even the, um, I don't know what you call it, but the piece on the shoestring, guys, that allows you to adjust uh, how tight you want the shoestrings to go. That little orange piece even has a Cactus Jack symbol on it in the front as well. I mean, it's really, really small, but if you look, you can see it, all right? And um, I like the tongue with the Air Jordan 6. Obviously, you know, it, it, it's a big tongue, it looks good. So you can see how a lot of other different shoes and borrow elements from the Edge on 6, you know, it kind of made it their own, all right? So other than that, and, and really the shoe I'm talking about is the uh, Edge on the Zykes. All right, guys, so the Spazikes, uh I actually have a pair of those as well in the Concord Purple and White. I did a video about those as well. Same tongue from the Edge on 6 is on that take the shoe as well. Alright, so again, very beautiful shoe, but I want to get you guys thoughts and opinions on that. And lastly, guys, keep in mind, September 14th is the official release date, but again, it's tentative, so it can change. Alright, so don't 
mark me on that particular date as well. If it does, I got you, all right? So guys, make sure that you like and share this content. I would definitely appreciate it. And if you enjoy the content, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. It will help out the channel a whole lot, all right? So I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. I appreciate you watching and listening. Have a good one.